This is your Fox 10 News Now update. Hi right, everyone, Eric Reynolds with your Fox 10 News Now update. Investigators are still trying to figure out what led a man to shoot dozens of rounds at a busy store in Spanish Fort as people shopped inside Saturday afternoon. The suspect, 38-year-old Robert Smith, was released from the hospital Monday and immediately booked into the Baldwin County Jail without bond, facing multiple charges. Police believe that he was prepared to commit a mass shooting. When he showed up to the Bass Pro Shops with numerous high-powered weapons, and hundreds of rounds of ammunition inside of his car. They say he used an AR-15 shotgun and pistol to fire at the building. We're told that a search of his home by police revealed 10 more guns and more than 1,000 rounds of ammunition. Smith's family in shock after hearing about the incident. His cousin and brother describe him as a loving, caring person. However, they say that recently he was not acting like himself. Junior started to act just a little out of character uh, the past week or so, and we did not know why, but we had absolutely no idea that it would come to this. We sincerely thank the police from Spanish for it, for the way that they handled things. We know that things could have gone so much worse. Police plan to conduct a search warrant possibly today on Smith's vehicle that was towed from the scene after the shooting. Spanish Fort Police Chief John Barber says that Smith was in an altered mental state when they took him into custody and that's why he was hospitalized. Pritchard Police, meantime, investigating the death of a six-month-old baby. Police say the investigation began after they answered a call that an infant may have drowned at Chickasaboke Park on Sunday. According to Pritchard Police, the infant was taken to Sarah Land Urgent Care, but it's not clear if the child was taken to the hospital. They're awaiting results of an autopsy for the cause of death. As more details become available, we'll, of course, let you know. A quick reminder for parents of Mobile County Public School students, you can pick up free breakfast and lunches for the week starting at 9 this morning. It ends at 1 at most schools, but check with yours for all the details. Now you can pick up the meals from any school. It doesn't matter which school your child attends. According to AMCPSS Facebook post, no lunch or barcode will be required to receive the food. And across the bay in Baldwin County, the school system says that starting today, they will provide free breakfast and lunch to all students attending traditional school. The free meals will be available through December the 31st. Officials say that the free meals are not available to virtual school students because the Baldwin County does not provide a meal service for virtual school. Now, the free lunch program is funded by the United States Department of Agriculture, the USDA. And just before 4.30 this morning, here's a look at the Fox 10 Storm Tracker radar. Summer is unofficially over and we could use some rain. The rain deficits are climbing up to about six inches in several spots and we're going to start to see the chance of scattered hit and miss showers and storms returning beginning today and lasting for the next several days. Now the tropics are still very active. We have tropical storms Paulette and we have tropical storm Renee. Neither of these look to be a threat for us. Paulette though is going to be getting pretty strong as we move forward into the weekend and Paulette will take more of a northward shift and start maneuvering closer toward Bermuda. We'll be following her in the days ahead. Behind Paulette, we have Renee. Renee looks to be no threat to any area of land. Renee looks to just move straight into the North Atlantic over the course of the weekend. Here's a glimpse at our weather headlines as we roll throughout this Tuesday. We're going to be tracking the tropics, rain chances increase, and we will remain hot and humid. On the Fox 10 future cast, clouds and sun is what we'll get. And then this morning, some coastal showers will be a possibility. They will track to the west, and we could see a few more popping up at 1 this afternoon. But you'll notice not everybody's going to see rain. The rain will be very touch and go during the course of the day and even during the evening. Now, once we're past about 9 o'clock, that's when the scattered shower chances end, and the rest of your Monday night, or Tuesday night, and Wednesday morning should be fairly quiet. Here's how the next seven days are going to stack up 30 to 40% coverage for showers and storms each day with highs in the low 90s. We'll see those heat levels dropping by the weekend and the highs will drop under 90, but morning temperatures will stay in the lower 70s. We'll continue to have weather updates throughout the day right here on Fox 10 News Now. 
Stay tuned to Fox 10 News throughout the day for the latest updates. This has been your Fox 10 News Now update.